Hello everyone. In this video, uh, we will talk about Ansible roles and how to create Ansible roles uh, for a production level environment. Okay, uh, if you have um, missed any of the videos, please watch the YouTube playlist uh, where you have all the videos in the series in a proper order. So just follow the sequence so you and practice it. And also see the repository if you miss any of the references or files. Okay why roles okay um, in a production environment uh, we will have hundreds and thousands of different types of machines to handle hence the type of operations and implementation methods will be different from one to uh, another so you can have different tasks or handlers for each type of operations or host but managing such a playbook is not an easy job um, so uh, we have an option in Ansible called Ansible Roles. By using Ansible Roles, you can organize your playbooks into smaller and separate playbooks. Like uh, for each task, you can define a separate uh, playbook. Uh, instead of that, instead of the playbook, you are going to use uh, roles. So let's say for in installing HTTPD, you use a role uh, where you have the playbooks, you have the variables, everything needed for that role. And later, you can reuse the same uh, role for uh, different playbooks or even for different team okay we will learn how to do that so the first thing uh, we have this um, let's see what is inside here so cat okay so we have this playbook here where we are installing HTTPD then we are installing uh, uh, installing the firewall D then enable and run it yeah this is just uh, quite normal so we will also copy some content inside. So what we are going to do is we will convert this playbook to a role. Okay, so we will learn how to convert or how to create the role and how to convert this playbook to a role. By using roles, you can easily share your play uh, or the playbooks with other teams by sharing the entire role directory. So I got I, I have a role for installing HTTPD, so I give it to you. So he, you can directly use it without checking because the role is specifically created for that purpose okay then it will be easy to manage larger projects uh, like you can create any number of uh, roles and use in a modular way even uh, you use a different user can create different roles in parallel and share with the same project let's say you have a big team uh, i am working on some vmware automation you are working on some patching thing maybe someone else is working on some cloud level so everyone can work independently. They can create their own roles. And uh, finally, you can integrate with it. And even for the development, you don't have any dependency on the playbook. Instead, you improve uh, your role and um, share it. OK, so uh, in role, we have some uh, we have some specific directory structure. Uh, we will go through that first. So what we have to do is here we have to create a role and we will transfer this playbook okay so for creating role actually you can create uh, the directories manually and copy the files or edit the file uh, but there is an tool uh, installed with um, ansible which is called ansible galaxy uh, sorry maybe i can try the help uh, ansible galaxy is uh, you can use it for installing role initiating or creating the skeleton for the role or or yeah you can manage the collection using ansible galaxy so this is a good utility for managing the roles and collections uh, we can try with some uh installing some existing roles okay. we will learn how to create the role then so here i will going to use ansible galaxy role so if you don't know the commands yes you can still use the uh, manage edge then there are options like what you can do with the role command. So we have another option called Ansible Galaxy Collection that we will learn in the advanced uh, topics. So here I want to uh, search. So Ansible Galaxy search, then you put the name. So for example, I want to put uh, Apache. It will search in the Ansible Galaxy website and it will just show what are the Roles available with the name Apache. Okay, so the Apache keyword is very popular, so there will be a lot of uh, roles with uh, this keyword. Uh, maybe we can try something um, Elastic Search. If anyone created some content for Elastic Search, 
uh, we can use that. I can try that. We are not going to uh, execute the role anyway. Okay, so there are many roles. Uh, you can see it's uh, by some individuals, some are by some organizations, some groups. Let's say you want to uh, try uh, in a different way using UI. Of course, you can go here like uh, galaxy dot ansible dot com so you know you don't need to log in you can log in and uh, store your roles here you can contribute to the community so here you can search uh, the same thing so instead of the command you can try like okay uh, HTTPD or Apache or anything let's say I want to deploy HTTPD I don't know how to do so I can see the roles here these are collections if you go down it's a role okay. So let's say I want to install for uh, Git. I want to deploy a Git server, but I don't know. I don't want to do the playbook. Uh, instead, I want to use the role. Go down and find the suitable role. So how to find is uh, you can see the number of downloads and any reviews or something like that and use it. Now we want to try with installing roles using Ansible Galaxy. So I'm trying with Ansible Galaxy uh, roles search uh, I want to install a role called gearling guy this is the other or a developer and the role name is git so it will be like other than the role name so I am searching for the role sorry I had to put role not roles uh, then it will show what are the roles available still it will show a lot of things so I'm, I'm going to do like gearling guy so I can see, okay, there is a role called gearlingguy.git. This will install a git version control software. In, inside our project, we don't have a specific directory. So the best practice is to create a directory for the roles. So I'm going to create a directory called roles. So inside the roles, I have to deploy the or download this role. So what I'm going to do, Ansible Galaxy install. Link guy dot git. Then I have to mention okay, I want to install this under roles directory. Okay, so it's downloading role from the Galaxy. So actually it's downloading from the GitHub. So Galaxy is a central repository and it will extract to the uh, directory we mentioned. So ls minus l you can see it's under uh, under roles. So you will use roles and see the content okay now i will explain what is what are the contents inside the roles so if you check this is our role and there are some directories one is a defaults defaults is a directory inside we have a main.yml this is a default variable for the role so if any change you want to make you can use inside the playbook and use it license is license is all free or something like that then we have a meta where we have uh, other information like uh, who who created this and what is the license etc. Then this is for the testing. We have readme like uh, what, how to use this role uh, etc. If you want to check, we can see the GitHub repository letter. Then uh, we have these variables like uh, what are the variables for different flavors actually. So you can use this role for Debian, Fedora, then Red Hat etc. So if you want to see the details, what you can do copy this and find the details here in the github repository okay you can explore that later okay now we have install a role so i want to see whether this role is visible to ansible so ansible galaxy role list so it says no roles why because the ansible will by default looking for few parts one is user share ansible roles second one is etc ansible roles and home directory so it's like um, uh, the directory we have created and deployed the roles is not visible to ansible so we have to tell ansible about this new di directory and tell okay we have these roles inside how to do that what you have to do tell ansible that okay i have these roles inside that so um, i'm going to edit ansible cfg which is specific for my project because this role is not going to uh, it's not it won't be available for other projects because it's inside my directory okay here I'm going to tell ansible roles 
underscore path equal to roles. Good. Uh, we don't need a slash. It's okay. Now we will try the same command again. Any difference? Yes, because Ansible know. Okay, there is a directory called roles inside the current directory and how to search for and we can see the roles here now good now how to use this um, uh, role inside the playbook so we are going to use that so in okay maybe we create like um, beam role.yaml then we have this name install git host node 1 become yes task that. so you can import role or include role or call the role directly so here we are going to use uh, roles then we will tell role the name name is gear link chi dot git this is the role name then if you want to change the variable you can use that so i will show you how uh, cat roads defaults okay these are the variables uh, we can override so we have our space root then git enable repo git package is git then the version let's say i want to use another version of the git i can uh, pass this variable uh, or if you want to install from source or reinstall from any of the variable you are can override uh, that's the position we can create like okay uh, version the version name something like that so this variable will be used instead of the default uh, main.yaml variable we are not going to use anything and uh, maybe we can try this in the playbook uh, git sorry what was that role.yaml um, okay uh, see now I have um, simply um, call the role I, I, I don't even know how to install git and all I just download the role from internet and use it inside that's it so this is a good thing uh, or, or you can use it uh, use the role from your colleagues or you can share with your colleagues yeah like that so this is the basics of role how to download the role from uh, Ansible Galaxy and use it inside your playbook. Uh, let's say if I have more variable, this is success or fail, I don't know. I think it's uh, it's just installing the git. It's not updating anything else, it's skipping because it's a different, uh, different. if it's a Fedora, it will skip, Debian it will skip, so it will do only that. So there are many uh, playbooks and um, tasks inside, so I don't need to know, so I can simply use it. Then if you have multiple roles, so we have role.yaml, here I can use like um, role one, role two, like that, or you can use like the like role, then your next role, my next role, then like that. So and all. Um, so this is simple method. Uh, in the next video, we will learn how to create our own role and convert the playbook to a role. So it will be, it will be easy so that we can push to git or we can push to the Ansible Galaxy or we can share with our colleagues for use. Okay, and that's it for this video. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel to get all the latest videos. See you next time with another video. Thank you.